hearing, the National Transportation Safety Board is just beginning its investigation, and there are still many unanswered questions about what caused that deadly crash in upstate New York. Around the country, regular vehicles are heavily regulated, but stretch limos are not. This morning, with 20 people dead in a terrible crash in upstate New York, there's renewed scrutiny of stretch limousines. This is the most deadly transportation accident in this country since February of 2009. Witnesses say the limo, a 2001 Ford excursion, sped down a hill through a parking lot and crashed into a parked SUV. Two pedestrians in the parking lot and all 18 adults in the limo, including the driver, were killed. The front seat passengers and the driver would be required to wear a seat belt. Uh, the passengers in the back would not. So far, it's not clear if they were wearing seat belts, what the condition of the vehicle was, or exactly how it was modified. But previously, there have been questions about the safety of stretch limos. In 2013, five women celebrating a bachelorette party near San Francisco died when their stretch limo caught fire. In the summer of 2015, four women on a Long Island winery tour were killed when their Lincoln Town Car crashed. In that case, the limo had been cut apart and rebuilt to accommodate more passengers. A grand jury later found that converted stretch limos often don't have security measures, including side impact airbags, rollover protection bars, and accessible emergency exits. The reality is when these vehicles are changed after market and this stretching occurs, it does change the engineered design of the vehicle. Fatal limo crashes are relatively rare. There were two deadly ones in 2016. That's down from 2015 when there were seven. But experts say regulations are not consistent. What we have now is across the nation a patchwork system when it comes to oversight of these vehicles. It's really important to reevaluate where we are and to recognize that this Frankenstein system that we have across the country isn't serving consumers well. Gabe, are any, any states taking steps to protect people who are riding in these limos? Oh. Well, actually, Craig, this year in California, a limo retrofit law went into effect requiring more accessible emergency ex exits. But experts say that while passenger cars, federal standards require passenger cars to protect uh, passengers uh, using airbags, stretch limos don't have that same requirement, Craig. All right. Gabe Gutierrez, Sports there in Atlanta. Gabe, thank mm -hmm. you.